what's up everybody it's matt with rocky's worm and tonight just as promised i have for you the magnetization that i'm going to do on the liberator um i'm also going to do the weapons for the big brood mother here she is right here i'll bring her into the scene she's right there you just see how massive that sucker is <laughs> uh we're gonna be uh I, I primed it already which is okay if you're adding magnets it's no big deal if you primed it already so as you can see you can kind of see where i'm starting off with the brood mother as far as colors go uh we're going to magnetize this heavy weapon there's three heavy weapons that the uh, brood mother has and here we go oh <laughs> i know their names but here's the big bigger and biggest this <laughs> and we're going to throw magnets in, in each and every one of these uh, to connect with a magnet that's going to go right into the hole that's right here. So we got three weapons that we're going to put magnets on. And I'm probably going to go with the, uh, with the smaller magnet, not the great big one like I'm using on the Liberator for the turret. Um, because I'm, I have several weapons I'm going to have to magnetize for the Liberator itself. Uh, I'll show you how to put the ball one on and magnetize that. And I will show you how to magnetize this big, these big weapons, this big weapon here, and the uh, little weapon, uh, the, uh, the other option you get with the X06. Plus we have the options for the X10, and we have the options for the high mag weapons, which that's probably the variant I like the most, <laughs> is the X01. But, you know, I'll, I'll be able to swap these out no problem. And uh, all the round ones, they're different because this is a plasma light support. And these are mag light supports for the other ones. One's got a compression cannon. One's got a twi twi twin mag light support. Uh, the other one's got a compression cannon, fractal cannon. It's just, it's just a big nasty. <laughs> they're both, they're uh, big nasty weapons. And I needed something to combat with this. And I think this one can go toe to toe. So we'll see what happens with that. But uh, <clears throat> that's what we're going to do. We're going to magnetize this turret first to uh, the Liberator right here. And I will be right back to get started on that. Put her to the side. We're going to start with the Liberator here. And <clears throat> we need to do two holes. One in here and one here. Now this uh, has to be flush with the top of this and flush with the top of the inside there. So to do this, we need our drill bit and try to match it up as best you can to your magnets. And I've got these big wide magnets for the turret. Uh, and this matches pretty good. It'll put a hole just big enough to fit this magnet. Now you can't rush this process. I know that uh, it takes time to do this, but you need a nice sharp tip knife on the tip to uh, start your, your hole if you want it centered. So you kind of try to this, this resin here, it's explained in their um, sheet there. This is a soft resin, so it doesn't break when you drop it. So it's a real soft resin, and we're just going to take our hands. We're going to find the center of this resin here. And we're just going to go back and forth with the tip of our knife. It doesn't matter if it's exactly perfect. All we're trying to do is get... You want to try to get it perfect. <laughs> A pilot hole going here so with our knife so you take the knife in the center and you just kind of go around a few times both ways and blow off the excess there as you can see there I got a pilot hole now this big monster if I can get it off the magnets now this big monster it's not gonna stay on that hole so what you got to do is you got to drill a smaller hole and then use that smaller hole as your actual pilot hole. So I'm going to get my small screw drill bit here. We're going to put it on our handy dandy hand drill. Tighten it up real good. We're going to take that pilot hole. We're going to put this on the center of it. And it's important that you do drill a pilot hole 
Otherwise, you'll be all over the place. <laughs> you just kind of start drilling a hole there, as you can see. It is there. We're not going to go too deep because our magnets are very thin. They're like one mil, I think, in depth. So I'm just going to go far enough to where I have a good pilot hole for my big drill. Now, unfortunately, I cannot find my handle for this. So we're just going to do it by hand. You don't, like I said, you don't need very much. Just enough to get it flush. Flush. And this soft, this resin is so soft, you don't really need your hand, your uh, piece that fits on this. I know I got mine at Hobby Lobby. And there you go. That's how easy this resin is to work with. So, we're going to check the depth here. <clears throat> By taking our magnets, kind of fitting in on the hole. Looks like, looks like I need to take off a little bit more. Oops. <laughs> you can see how strong these suckers are. They stick to everything. Just need to go a little bit deeper. You want to drill it and then get it out. You're going to blow it out. That's why you're hearing me blow quite a bit. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, we're going to test that. That's perfect. Let's see. Let's check our depth here. See how <laughs> these things are very strong. So we're going to take one. I'm going to poke it in there. There you go. I can't use metal. Well, that's metal too. <laughs> Let's use resin. That won't stick. And as you can see, it is flush. It's a good fit. So I'd say that right there is a success. Now, drill a hole for this side. But we're going to put some glue on this first. So how are you going to get that magnet out of there? I don't know because it's facing the wrong way, I think. That's another thing you got to check is the polarity which side to connect it with. So you want to make sure that this side gets glued. So, keep hitting the camera. I'm going to put some glue in there. There we go. All right. Now we're going to take our magnet right here. Making sure we got the right side up, which is this side right here. I'm going to slide it over in there. Now, we're not going to use a metal piece of metal to pump it in there. We're going to use a piece of resin. Or, what else do I got here? A paintbrush. That's why I got the paintbrush. So, we're going to pop it in there as best we can get it, as flush as we can get it. There we go. Make sure it's as even as possible. It's all right if a little bit of glue gets on the outside. As a matter of fact, I'd like to have that. It adds a layer of protection, seals it in. So, there we go. Now you just let the glue dry before you actually test the magnet. So we'll set that back there. And I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did there is to here, right here. And I'll be right back to show you that, guys. What I've done uh, <clears throat> is, as you can see, it's still able to turn and it does not fall. I have magnetized the turret, as you can see here. Same process I used on this side, I used right here. Put a nice magnet in there, I put glue over the top and on the bottom to keep it nice and tight. And there you go, it is magnetized. Turret is magnetized. <laughs> and 
Now the next step, magnetizing your liberator, is to do the same exact thing. And I think uh, this this size right here would be really good for them, uh, especially if you have different variations of depth as far as the uh, weapons go. Um, to do to do another big magnet here, and not necessarily do a big magnetic magnet in here, but possibly just a small magnet that will magnetize to this one. So I've already drilled the hole exactly the same way as I did for the turret itself underneath here. And we're going to now take care of this piece. We're going to drill a hole in here to where it fits, and this weapon will stay. Now, depending on the tightness of that magnet, I may have to put one in the back, in the back here. Possibly, I don't know. I know I'm going to have to do it for this one here because, well, I don't know. A magnet will fit in the bottom. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> so we'll give that a shot. So I'm going to take our fancy drill again. And I have a little bit of a thicker um, drill bit for this part. I don't know. It looks like there might be about the same. No, this one's just a tad bit thicker. But I, I think it's a good size for these really thick magnets. Yeah. Yep, that'll work. So, <clears throat> these are good earth magnets. Take them out. They're super strong. I know that. You want to get the strongest you could possibly find and Good earth magnets are probably the toughest I could find. <clears throat> you also want to make sure, and you definitely want to make sure, that the polarities are correct for either side. So this side fights, this side connects. So we know that we want this top one face down and this bottom one face up. So <clears throat> there we go. So we have our new drill bit in here. There we go. It's nice and tight. Now we're going to use that on this weapon here. So you got to match it up on the turret. So we know the hole is right about centered there. So, oh yeah, I forgot about this part. So we need to take a very sharp knife and get a pilot hole going. So, <clears throat> Let's see where we're at again. It's going to sit right there. So, right there. Okay. We got it. So, we're going to pick the center here. The metal is not as soft as this plaster is. So, just want to drill a little pilot hole uh, best to the center as you can possibly get it. And this will help direct. The drill bit where you want it to go. So you sit it on the center there as best you can. And see if you hit the spot. Yes, I did. Good deal. And just take your time with it. Try to be as straight as possible. Now I will say when you're turning the drill, you want to make sure you give it a couple turns and then turn reverse to get out all the excess metal that you have in there. So we're going to continue this, drill out a bigger hole, there we go. All right, so we need our magnets. Let's see if it fits. Hmm, still a little bit too small. So I'm going to keep drilling this out here. It seems that I can't uh, find a drill bit. It's either too big or too small. Uh, we'll see how that, all that works there. All right. Here we go. 
I think we have a winner here. Just needs to be deeper. All right. All right. So there you have it. You have the basics of what to do there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish drilling this out. I'm going to glue the magnet in there. And uh, I'll be back to uh, show you what uh, I got in return <laughs> for my efforts. <laughs> and then we'll glue this piece on. Or we'll, glue, we'll magnetize this piece right here to the front. So I'll be right back. All right. So there you have it. There's our next step. Uh, I was able to get the magnet in here and the magnet into the turret right here. And uh, I cannot stress to you enough. Please, please, please make sure your polarity is right before you actually glue it in. I actually had to dig this out because I had it the opposite direction by accident. But uh, that's a pretty good hold. Um, it's okay. It's not amazing, but I think it's because of how heavy this piece is here. These magnets are pretty strong, so I, it holds it. But as you can see, if it gets bonked around, it could come out. So either get stronger magnets, <laughs> which I haven't found anything stronger than what I have here. I mean, rare earth magnets are pretty strong. Or you can do what I'm going to do and drill another hole in the back here and then put a magnet in the back of this turret here just to kind of strengthen it up. And for other smaller weapons, the smaller weapons will have a place to go. So I'm going to carry on doing that. That's the next step. Just a couple, couple magnets just to be sure. Um, I've been using these rare earth magnets for a long time and they hold pretty dang well. It's just sometimes real heavy metal piece you got to put two spots where they connect um, especially when you don't have a lot of space or area to put a big one on on that one to hold it so what we'll do is we'll drill out the back of this here and we'll drill a hole in the back here put a couple magnets making sure the polarities match so they're not opposite and uh, go from there so that's our next step so there you have it there that's the turret turret magnetized the heavy weapon magnetized. Now I'm going to do the same thing for all the other heavy weapons that I change out here. I'll either do one or two based on how heavy it is and how much, the, how well the bond is, uh, as far as how well it uh, glues on there. What did I do there? Oh, okay. Or how well it uh, it bonds with the uh, uh, magnets here. So, yeah, there we go. I'll probably do a little bit of sanding in here to sand off the top of the glue. I'll put a varnish on there to make sure it protects it. And it'll still have that same bond. So there it is. Magneti magnetized turret. <laughs> uh, the next step would be to magnetize the ball. Um, I do not. I want to magnetize this because I have um, a mag light support I can put in front of, in front of there instead of a plasma cannon. So... We'll see. <laughs> I still have to uh, ma uh, put a magnet in this one, which is going to sit back a little bit further. Like this. Actually, no, like that. Or up here like that. Probably like that. And I'll just put one in the bottom. This is not very heavy. Just put a quick magnet here and have it magnetized to that. So I'm going to carry on putting this ball drain on. I'll show you guys how to do it. And uh, we're going to get a magnet in this and uh, stick it up there. So let me go get what I need for this and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to magnetize the, uh, the ball joint one uh, that goes on the front of the Liberator. So I've taken the liberty of already uh, drilling a hole out. And essentially you want the hole to be drilled out up top. You want to kind of go at an upward angle and the reason for this is is you can move it left and right um, with, with you know move it around so essentially the magnet will be up here and you can just swivel it on the magnet so um, <clears throat> so what I've done is I've located a spot here and I've located a spot in here uh, for it so to do that <clears throat> we put it straight as possible or wherever you want it 
I'm just going to press real hard into the resin there and wiggle it. So what that does is that gives me a metal mark on the inside where I want this magnet. So in the resin. <clears throat> so I know what I want it right here. So we're going to go ahead and make a little pilot hole. If I can see it right here. And you want to go upwards, just like you did with uh, the uh, the ball joint one. So we're going to make a pilot hole, kind of going up at an upward angle, um, just like we did on the other one, or we did on the ball joint. All right, so there's our pilot hole there. We're going to take our, well, without the magnets, <clears throat> Our drill, we're going to put the center of it on that pilot hole and we're going to just start going. I'm going to drill our hole. Always do a backwards motion when you're drilling these just to get rid of this extra stuff. So we're going to try to keep going at an upward angle. If you can see that, it's kind of going at an upward angle. Now, if that's deep enough, now we got to widen the hole just a little bit for the magnet to squeeze in there. Okay. All right, so we're back to polo, po, uh, polarities again. Uh, <clears throat> so whatever we, I went ahead and put a magnet in this side uh, just so we can check the polarities and make sure it's right. Oh, I haven't glued it in. That's right. So we're going to. That magnet fits in there perfectly. So we know that when we take it off this magnet here, this part here at the bottom needs to be down. So, <clears throat> take our magnet, check our polarities there, and see I have it on the actual metal piece itself. That way I know. We're gonna double check it. Yep, looks like it fits. So now we're going to get some glue in that hole. <clears throat> oh yeah. Probably need to take the turret off. That's a good magnet. It stayed on there the whole time. <laughs> so we're going to put some glue in there. You don't want to overfill it, which I did there. <sighs> Figures. Let me get a paper towel. All right. So I'm just going to dab on that because you don't want too much because it's going to spill spill through. So I'm just going to wipe the top layer off. You got to be quick about this because this CA glue is really, really fast. So we're going to take our magnet. We're going to pop it in there with this. And scrape. See that? Popped it in and scraped. So now we know that that's the right polarity in that spot. Now what I'm going to do to make sure it dries quickly as I have this Instaset quick stuff. So we're going to spray it over here out of the way. All right. So that glue dries fast. So the next step would be, there's your magnet. It's nice and flush right there. And you know it's flush because you put this in there. So the true test here is we'll wait till that dries for a second. Looks like it's dry. Look at that. Magnetizes. Perfect. There you go. So now, <laughs> now we know we got to glue this one. What in the world is going on here? Oh yeah, it's coming out. <laughs> there you go. That is in there. Of course, that's only one magnet. And uh, I wanted to do just one magnet to see exactly how well it would sit in there. Now it's nice and tight and it kind of moves around and it stays there, right? I think that'll be fine though. So we're going to put this on there. I'm going to put this on there. Oh, wait, wrong one. What do we need for that? We need the, the mag weapons. 
So I've uh, already magnetized for the most part the high mag stuff. Uh, we have the mag weapons. I'm gonna. This is the uh, plasma um, right here. It's the other plasma. This is gonna go in just like that one. Uh, oop! See, I keep hitting the camera. We got the plasma destroyer. We got the plasma gun. The little plasma support. And we got, of course, got the mag weapons. So this here and this here would belong together. So magnetized, magnetized, there you go. So that's it, that's how you magnetize it. You're gonna do the same exact thing for all the rest of the weapons uh, to make your uh, high mag weapons, your X01 and your X10 uh, special weapons. So, uh, <clears throat> These are the options. That's how you do it. I'm going to do exact same thing where I put a magnet at the bottom, put a magnet at the back. Boom. It's on there. Nice and tight. So there we go. That's magnetizing the liberator. So I'm going to carry on. I'm going to finish magnetizing all the extra weapons that go along with it. Exactly the same way uh, as I did these here. Um, I may think about this. I may, I may stick another magnet on this, this, uh, This bottom turret here, I may, I may, uh, I may put another magnet in the back, just to kind of keep it from rolling around the way it's doing. But anyway, that's it. That's all I got for you guys uh, on the liberator. So uh, we're gonna magnetize the brood mother here next. Let me see if I can't get this out. We're gonna try to anyway. I guess it must have got some glue on it or something. Uh, we're gonna magnetize the brood mother here in a second. So uh, I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be right back with the brood mother. All right, and we're back with the uh, the brood mother here. She's a <laughs> he's a big one. <laughs> so what we're gonna do uh, is this is a pretty deep hole already. And I know I'm going to get a lot of people going, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, I think this is the best way to magnetize it. Uh, there might be a better way. Uh, if you guys have a, a better way, that's fine. You can leave it in the comments. I'm, I'm open to suggestions. But uh, there's a hole in there, and it's deep enough to fit two of these magnets already. So I was just going to glue two magnets inside, back to back to each, to with each other, uh, right into this hole right here. Because I already have it. And I'm going to take these weapons. And yep, I'm doing it, folks. Here we go. I'm cutting this off right there. That gives us our point for drilling a hole. So we're gonna go ahead and make a pilot hole for it already. Get it as center as possible on here. And it is a soft resin, so that, that's really good. So we're gonna get a nice pilot hole there. We're gonna go ahead and drill a hole there just deep enough for the magnet to fit so it'll fit, sit flush here oh well i knew i was going to drop that oh here we go it'll sit flush here and the magnets will just magnetize too and you'll be able to turn it so looks like it's deep enough we're just going to make the hole just a little bit bigger at the top so we can squeeze it in there. Now I just make it, this right here is just either the, it's about the exact size of the magnet. So what I do is, is I, I taper the top here just to get the magnet to squeeze in there. And I use the resin and the glue to make it tight inside there. Uh, it gives a nice tight fit. And uh, <clears throat> if you have trouble getting it in there, you can hold it in your hand and take the back of your device and and you know smack that magnet inside the hole and it's not going to hurt nothing so i drilled this hole here we're going to continue with these right here as you can see they have they have that little slot there you want to make sure that it's going to fit so you put it on there and make sure it's going to sit flush with those magnets that are in there don't cut off too much 
we're going to cut off this part right here. All right. There we go. And that's where our hole is going to be drilled. And the same with this one here. There we go. I got little pieces of metal flying everywhere now. So we're gonna drill our holes out there. We're gonna put magnets in and I'll be right back to show you guys what it looks like when I'm finished with it. Okay, so uh, we're gonna put a couple magnets in there. It's gonna be two magnets deep, right like that. Looks like one, two magnets deep. Yeah, right about there. Probably could have got thicker magnets to do this, but it's gonna fit two. So I'll be right back to show you guys how it turns out. All right, finished that up. As you can see, it is stuck. <laughs> we got her, we got her magnetized. We put the double magnet in there, put a magnet in the bottom. Look at that, it stays on there, gun moves around. It's pretty cool, these don't, but I kind of wish I would have magnetized these two, but it's okay. Uh, so we want to switch weapons, boom, switch weapons. Next one, boom, switched weapons. <laughs> All magnetized, ready to rock and roll. Uh, really excited about that. They all fit just fine, they fit perfectly. And they won't fall off. So there we go. All right, we are done with that. We have magnetized both the Liberator and the Broodmother amongst its many weapons. So if you wanted to really do this, you could. <laughs> there you go, the big guns. Take that gun off. That'll kind of stick. There you go, look at that. See, that's not supposed to be there. Oh well. <laughs> we'll plug those in there. <clears throat> Let's check out these, these other ones I did here. All right, Broodmother weapons, Liberator weapons, switched it out. Oh, this don't belong in there. This one does. There we go. It's a Maglite support, I believe. You wanna switch it up to the cannon, sure, or the, uh, the plasma. There you go. So it's all done. All checked out all the weapons. So there you have it, folks. We've magnetized the Broodmother, we've magnetized the Liberator, the turret, all its many weapons. You wanna swap them out, turret moves. This will move to face the enemy. See that? I think it's great. Worked out pretty good. Hope you learned something. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe, uh, tell a friend, spread the word for me. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you thought. If you thought there maybe would be a better way to magnetize these, uh, put it in, leave it in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta, and see you in the next video.